Hello, Electromaker recently asked me, would you like to design a project using parts from our website? And I thought, yeah, sure, why not? So this is what I designed in the video I made for them. Hello, I'm Lewis, and today I'll show you how you can build your own 3D printed collapsible LED lightsaber. The collapsible shaft of the saber is printed, and the handle has been printed in several different filaments using a single extruder. The end of the hilt rotates, to switch the saber on and then select the color of the blade from either red, green or blue. If you would like to build your own lightsaber, then you can order a kit which contains all of the non-3D printable components from Electromaker. On this project's page at their website, you can also download the files for the 3D printable parts. The kit contains an eight-way rotary switch, a 4 AA battery holder, a 3 watt RGB LED, a small lens to focus the LED's light, some wire to connect all of the components together, 4 M3 by 6 screws, 4 AA batteries, and 3 4.7 ohm resistors. You'll only need two for this project, we've included an extra one as a spare. You'll also need your own filament for the 3D printable parts. We'll start with some 3D printing. The first part that you should print is the handle for the lightsaber. I've printed mine in a 0.15mm layer height and a large brim to help it adhere to the print bed. To help give it the metallic look, I've used some silver and copper effect silk PLA filament along with some ordinary black PLA. I added some filament changes in Prusa Slicer so that the printer would pause for a filament change at certain layers of the print. This doesn't require a multi-material printer and you should be able to find some equivalent options in your slicing software. In Prusa Slicer, it's as simple as adding changes whilst looking at the preview of your sliced model using the bar on the side here. The next part holds the battery case in position inside the handle and provides us with a mounting point for the rotary switch. I've printed mine in black PLA as it can be partially seen in the completed model. With both of these parts printed, we can start to work on the electronics. Prepare three 23 cm long wires in one colour and a 17 cm and 2.5 cm wire in another colour. Solder a 23 cm wire to the red, green and blue contacts on the LED and the 2.5 cm wire to the positive contact. You will need to work quickly when soldering the connections on the back of the LED the aluminium backing will very quickly dissipate the heat. Now shorten the legs on two of the 4.7 ohm resistors and join them in a series. You can then connect one end of the paired resistors to the 17 cm length of wire and the other end to the 2.5 cm length. These wires can then be threaded down for the top of the saber so that the LED is held in place by push fitting it into its recess. We can now take the rotary switch and solder the three wires coming from the red, green and blue contacts on our LED to any three pins on this outer ring. I've chosen to leave a gap between each one so that when any one colour is turned on, I can turn the saber off by turning the control just one position round in either direction. The black wire coming from the battery holder should be shortened to around 12cm and the red wire to 4cm. They can then be threaded up through this hole in the sled with the battery case itself being pushed snugly into the bottom half. The positive red wire from the battery holder should be attached to the other end of the resistor's wire, whilst the black negative wire should be soldered onto the central pin on the rotary switch. We can now add four AA batteries into the battery holder and test our electronic circuit. Be careful not to touch either the resistors or LED as they will both become hot during use. At this point, you want to add some insulation around the contacts on the rotary switch and at the end of the positive lead coming from the batteries. The sledge can then be rotated so that the end with the batteries in will be closest to the LED and then partially inserted. 
When it's part way in, the rotary switch can be inserted through the hole in the sled. Make sure that the notch on the switch aligns with the notch on the sled. You can then add the washer and nut from the outside to hold it into place. We will use the four screws provided to hold the sledge in place. Rotate the sledge gently so that the sides align with the screw holes on the outside of the handle and then add the screws, tightening them gently. Don't use deeper screws than those provided or over tighten them as we don't want to damage the batteries inside. We can now print the bottom of the handle. I did this in PLA and at a 0.15mm layer height and, like with the other parts, I changed the filament a couple of times during the print to get the black band at the end. Once printed, it just push fits onto the end of the rotary switch. Now we can create the extendable sections of the blade. I printed each of the blade sections in a white PLA with a very large brim to help them adhere to the print bed. I chose a layer height of 0.15mm. These can then be inserted one inside the other after removing their brims. Next, print the LED spacer and the top of the handle. Now we can assemble the rest of the lightsaber. You'll need the 3D printed parts for this as well as the LED lens. The narrow end of the LED lens sits directly on top of the LED. The spacer then sits on top of this with the two notches on one side holding the LED lens in place. The four blades then sit on top of this and the screw top slides over everything and secures it all in place. There is one more part which I have printed in black PLA that sits in this recess on the handle. It should hold itself in place but you can use hot glue if it's too loose for you. If you wanted to, you could further embellish your lightsaber but added some painted details such as weathering it or making it look a bit older than it really is. If you want to build your own lightsaber then you can order a kit from Electromaker which will include all of the electronic components that you need. That's it from me today. Until next time, ciao for now.